The ocean is a truly fascinating place, and something we've always been interested in. More specifically, finding out what lurks beneath the depths. Deep sea creatures are truly out of this world compared to everyday fish or creatures we know about. They live in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. After a recent scuba diving trip, it makes sense for us to revisit an age-old favorite. So without further ado, hit those lights and let's take a trip underwater. In 2019, scientist Dr. Alan Jameson descended 7,180 meters into the Java Trench and became the first British person in history to do so. He was part of the Five Deeps exhibition, led by deep sea pioneer Victor Vescovo. Using a specially designed deep submergence vehicle called Limiting Factor, the team aimed to dive to the deepest point in each of these five oceans. The Puerto Rico Trench in the Atlantic, South Sandwich Trench in the Southern Ocean, Challenger Deep in the Pacific, Malloy Deep in the Arctic, and Java Trench in the Indian Ocean. It was during their dive 4.5 miles down in the Java Trench that the crew came across an entirely new creature that had never before been seen by humans. Take a look at this. This unique gelatinous animal is believed to be a never before seen species of stalked ascidian or sea squirt. Resembling a balloon attached to a string, its ghostly silhouette floats through the alien underwater landscape, unaware that its rarity has left the Five Deeps crew speechless. Virtually nothing is known about how it survives 23,096 feet below the surface of the Indian Ocean, although it is thought it would normally be physically anchored to the seabed by its tentacle. However, on this occasion, it has raised its body from the bottom, possibly to filter out food from the water. When Jameson later researched the creature, he found a group in Japan had described something comparable about 20 years previous. However, key differences existed between the newly found creature and the one described in the report, with the latter having filaments coming off the top of its head. In contrast, this one doesn't, leading him to believe that there is a high probability that the creature is an entirely new species. Because the deepest parts of four out of the five oceans the team were visiting have never been explored by humans before, it's not a huge surprise that there are possibly hundreds, if not thousands of species that are yet to be discovered. Take another look, and just remember how rare this footage is. It could be a hundred years or more before we film this creature again. Ogre fish, or fang tooth. This next fish certainly lives up to its name, looks wise. It can be found worldwide in the icy ocean depths, as far as 5,000 meters down, and is among the deepest living creatures in the sea. Perhaps more terrifying than its face is that it has, relative to size, the biggest teeth of any other fish. Fang tooths are record breakers for their enormous gnashes. The most prominent two fangs of the lower jaw are so long that they have evolved specialized sockets on each side of their brain to help close their mouths, although they can still not close it fully. This fascinating creature has 14 enormous fangs in total that make up a third of its whole body. Inside its treacherous mouth sit rows of tiny teeth around the gill arches, which help to hold on to smaller prey. All its teeth are laterally flexible, suggesting they can facilitate food items of various sizes. There are two species of fang tooth, the common fang tooth and the shorthorn fang tooth. Thankfully, they are all pretty small, reaching around 18 centimeters. Otherwise, with their teeth, they would be fearsome predators. Take a look at this rare footage. Very little is known about these creatures, and the shorthorn fang tooth has only been observed in infancy, so it is unknown exactly how big it grows. Despite their size, they have a powerful bite and can move quickly to devour their prey. 
This was evident in this intriguing documentary footage from BBC's Blue Planet 2, which looks at the fang-toothed savage attack on a helpless little shrimp. It's worth pointing out that footage was shot in a container on board a ship, and no such attack has ever been captured in the creature's natural habitat, so a lot has to be left up to the imagination. These fish are also incredibly robust, unlike many other deep-sea creatures who lose all form and function when brought to the surface. The fangtooth has been successfully kept alive for brief periods of time at surface pressure and in a lab setting, and it was found that pressure on the fish had no impact on its ability to breathe. A lateral line organ is also used to detect motion and pressure changes, a sort of sixth sense that is essentially a row of cellular hairs, much like microscopic whiskers, that run down the side of the fish and send signals in response to changes in motion. Although this is found in many fishes, in the fang tooth, this is exceptionally well developed and finely tuned, maybe to compensate for its poor eyesight. There is still a lot to learn about these deep sea mysteries and because of the hostile environment they live in, we may never know exactly how they live and breed, or how big they get, but it is a terrifying thought that if they did reach gigantic proportions with those teeth, they could probably take on anything, including all of us. The Bobbit Worm the Bobbit Worm, or Sand Striker, is the thing of nightmares. This ferocious creature is the villain of the sea world, a fearsome predator that burrows into the sand and waits for unsuspecting prey that wouldn't look out of place in a sci-fi horror movie. They can be found at the bottom of tropical and subtropical bodies of water in Bali, New Guinea, the Philippines, Australia, Fiji, and Indonesia. The average length of a Bobbit Worm is around three foot, although on rare occasions, they have been known to grow as big as 10 foot. Incredibly, it is thought they have been around for at least 20 million years after their fossilized remains were found in Taiwan. These strange worms live in burrows in the sand and use a special mucus to strengthen the walls of their homes. There, they stay undetected until they spot prey. They have been known to use their antenna to mimic smaller ocean worms to lure in potential food. After spotting their dinner, they act with lightning speed snapping their jaws so ferociously that their victim is often sliced in half. After being ambushed, the prey is dragged back into its burrow to be consumed. Take a look. If that wasn't bad enough, their venom-laced spines are powerful enough to bring down a human being, making the bobbit worm one of the most weaponized fish out there. One saving grace is that this weird-looking creature is almost entirely blind and similar to the ogre fish, uses its antenna to sense prey. Bobbit worms belong to the class Polycheta, which means many hairs in Greek, and their long bodies are covered in tiny bristles that help them propel out of their burrows as well as grip them in place when they are hiding. They also can split into several parts, something they do when they feel threatened or to reproduce asexually. This phenomenon is called multiplying, but it's not all bad. The mucus the bobbit worm secretes is full of nutrients that microbes in the sea feed on. Interestingly, the official name for a bobbit worm is Eunice Aphrodite. So why is it known as a bobbit worm? Well, there is an eye-watering story behind that, that they are named after Lorena Bobbit, who became infamous for cutting off her husband's penis. Gulper Eel The mysterious Gulper Eel, sometimes called a pelican eel, is one of the strangest and most unusual deep sea creatures around. Not much is known about it, as it is rarely witnessed, despite being plentiful worldwide. 
They live in seas with depths ranging from 1,600 to almost 10,000 feet. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary black eel, with its elongated body wriggling through the water. However, unlike other true eels, this one is unique. It has a massive gulping mouth that gives it the ability to scoop up its prey and swallow it whole, and they often go for prey quite large compared to their own size, resulting in their bodies being contorted into what looks like a massive black ball. Take a look at this. his defense like let oh, me yeah, blow up so I can show him how oh big I am God. incredible wow yep he's doing the shake oh, it's a oh, oh, my oh my god, god. Yes. Oh, my god. Oh. is that a gulper eel then wow yes. I think so yeah that is crazy that, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> it's hard to tell from that clip how big the gulper eel is but they usually grow to around three feet long which isn't significant compared to other eel species for example, the European conger can reach up to 20 feet long. It is believed their wide mouth has evolved to allow them to feed on larger fish and crustaceans when food is scarce. To fully understand these weird and wonderful eels, more deep sea research is needed. But for now, we'll just have to appreciate the rare footage that we have. The White Margin Stargazer Like something from a horror story, this large ambush hunter lures its prey with its tongue-like appendage, which is both venomous and electric. It inhabits relatively shallow waters in reef flats and coastal bottoms around Indonesia, Fiji, Samoa and Tonga, and has also been witnessed off the coast of Queensland, Australia. Its eyes are located on top of its head and its large mouth is upward facing meaning it can bury itself in sand with just its mouth and eyes exposed as it waits to pounce on its next meal. When something gets close enough, this is what happens. This creature can lunge at its prey in a matter of milliseconds, creating a vacuum of water that swiftly sucks in crabs, fish and any other creatures. At around 45 centimeters long, it is not a monster, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for with an array of killing methods. As well as lunging at prey, this terror of the seas can also poison its victims or enemies, using the venomous spines that run along each of its shoulders. And because these fish live in shallow waters, humans sometimes tread on them and receive a painful, but not rarely deadly wound from these toxic spikes. If that wasn't bad enough, they can also inflict a nasty electric shock. These fish have modified muscle cells called electroplaques that can produce a 50 volt shock, similar to an electric eel, probably not enough to kill, but certainly enough to stun or dissuade predators. If none of these work, the stargazer has another trick it can deploy. It's built in a tongue-like organ attached to the inside of their mouth that they wiggle around to attract prey. All in all, this sour looking creature has it all and has earned itself the reputation with scientists as being one of the meanest things in creation. So that's it for this video. That's five mysterious sea creatures that we still actually know very little about. Just think about the hundreds of thousands of creatures that we have still yet to discover, just swimming around in the deepest depths of the ocean. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.